Hello guys, welcome back to another video, welcome back to my channel And today I'll be talking about the iMac Pro This is not my computer, let me tell you straight away It's not Apple's computer either It's one of my family related computer But I have been using it just to found, find out if, this, if it's any good And it's for alert It is actually quite good I'm gonna be telling you what is the good points of it And should you buy it Yeah, let's begin So, the iMac Pro, let me tell you the specs on it, but I can tell you right away, it's the base model. So it has an 8-core Intel Xeon W processor, it has 32GB of RAM, 1TB of SSD, Radeon Pro Vega 56 graphics. So it is the base model, and but it is actually got some good specs on the base model. I've been doing some tasks on it like I would usually do on a computer so the, but the main task I'm going to talk about is something that I do mostly video editing so video editing is obviously a heavy task and it, I used Final Cut Pro 10 and it really heavily relies on the GPU and the GPU we got is you know decent and I'm going to be telling you how I did it went and what I liked about it so first thing I liked is the experience now, usually when I use laptops uh, or on my iPad Pro that I work on, uh, I look down at the screen. On the iMac, you have to, I, I, I have to get used to it though. You look up on the screen, you got a big, beautiful screen, 5K retina display, uh, 500 nits. Yeah, it's a good display overall. And you have a lot of space to work with because you have a big screen, you have a lot of space. Another thing I like is performance. Obviously, this is a desktop computer. It has some good things inside. As I said, the specs out right now. Um, but the perf when I edited on it, a few videos, I actually did a few videos on it. It was running, no problems at all. So no drop frames. I have n I have not experienced a problem while using the iMac Pro. Um, my I film 4K 60 frames per second on the Sony A7 Mark III, R3, uh, uh, so XAVCS 4K, that's what the f uh, call, it's called on the file format here, and so yeah, but I film compressed, not un uncompressed, if it was uncompressed, the file would have been larger and it would be maybe a bit harder for the uh, computer to handle, but I film compressed, and probably most of you do as well. So, uh, when I started editing videos, it really impressed me how well it runs. Smooth, no dropped frames at all. And even though I'm, I'm kind of doing some heavy file editing, no problem. Another, f an another thing I liked, it's silent. Like, Apple re-engineered the fans on it compared to the iMac standard iMac 27 inch 5K. Uh, it has now a bigger exhaust vent for more air to obviously come out the advantage of that is you lose your ram door up your own upgradable ram door so if you want to upgrade ram you can't because you have to buy at apple ram at apple straight away and you don't hope basically to change ram later if it's not going to be like if it's like 32 gigabytes of ram won't be enough you have to buy the right amount of ram you need beef at the time you buy your iMac Pro but because of the bigger exhaust vent we got better cooling so the iMac Pro is silent like it's silent way more silent than my MacBook Pro 15 inch um, you know all MacBooks spin up their fans because of the thin design and the you know quite a lack in performance I mean 16 inch is a good Mac Pro, uh, Pro. The six, but the 14 inch, yeah, kind of has the when you use this 14 inch, for example, for video editing, it has to max out its graphics because it has uh, it, it has to give it all of its punch when really needed. Whereas the iMac Pro, for example, um, it doesn't use most of its performance. It still has some leftover performance, and if you need it, obviously because it's discrete GPU and it's better, 
it can give you that performance. So yeah, basically I'm trying to explain here that the Mic iMac Pro is really sound. You can hear only a bit of, I don't know, I guess hum or like a wind ventilator spinning a bit, like it's silent. Because the iMac Pro doesn't really go overload when I edit it on, so it doesn't max out its performance. So it still has some leftover performance if I needed it, which is good. If I would do some multitasking with heavy apps, or I would do I would edit something more complicated than I usually do. But you know, all these things things um, really surprise me. I have not always been a fan of desktops. Uh, but now I am because how much performance they pack the experience and the silence of the iMac Pro the starting price of the iMac Pro is 5,000 pounds uh, here in the UK but Apple has given us a 10 core processor a 10 core Xeon W processor as big standard because of the new 27 inch iMac 23 so you get a bit more performance which is good uh, it makes a difference when you have more cores in your processor but yes the new iMac 27 inch by the way starts less it starts at 2400 pounds the base model of the 27 inch iMac 5k the new one and if I gonna try to configure them similarly uh, close to for example the base model of the I iMac Pro and it costs cheaper 3,600 pounds you're saving 400 pounds so if you're choosing to buy an iMac and you're choosing between an iMac Pro because you think it's gonna have better performance or the new iMac that has been revised lately the 27 inch it's an easy answer just get the iMac 27 inch because you're paying for less and you get everything new you get even more and it's just a newer device. The iMac Pro is already three years old, and you know it, it doesn't support all the new you know gadgets and all that stuff. Uh, for example, the new iMac supports 6K Pro Display HDR, as the iMac Pro doesn't. So it's just better, way better decision to get the iMac 27-2020. inch Meanwhile, we could wait for an update of the iMac Pro maybe sometime I don't know but yeah guys uh, so now I'm into desktops I really like desktops I've not always been a fan of them I've always used it. laptops I still like laptops because of their portability uh, but desktops uh, I love Apple I'm, I love iMacs and especially the iMac Pro really impressed me I loved editing on it but yeah guys that's been it thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video